Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Bike Band for You. We got ourselves a Bob trailer. A trailer to transport items. Heavy items, bulky items, items that you can't carry on the bike, but you need them to go wherever you're going. Great for expeditions, great for going cross country, great for long, long distance touring, great for carrying gear is the bottom line. This is the Bob Ibex. It actually is a suspension. It has suspension in the back and the suspension goes up and down. Let me just undo the bag. It does come with this nice dry, dry bag, dry, wet, you know, waterproof bag. And this nice bungee cord that's kind of a dual bungee cord. You always be careful of your eyes when you're dealing with bungee cords. You ever have one of these things wacky in the face, man? You'll never forget it. Anyway, bungee cord, that comes with it, okay? The flag, I'll show you about the flag in a minute. And then it comes with this nice dry bag. It's just a big satchel is all it is, uh, but it's heavy duty. Big, nice s strap to hold these two handles together as well as you could use this to to uh, strap it onto something else as well the way it's made it's real it's reinforced real good around where you know the connection same thing on the handles here has a fast tech nice fast tech heavy duty clip on there okay rubberized back the other side boom opens up you unfold it two heavy duty like plastic type things in there and then we just have a bunch of packing material in here to puff it out you get the idea that is a big bag right there and that is what comes with complete with your bob trailer now some guys use it some guys don't uh the actual trailer itself is made out of chrome molly it has a nice expanded metal on the bottom. It's nicely made. It has some rubber bumpers. These are rubber bumpers on, uh, not rubber bumpers, uh, poly plastic skid plate type bumpers. That's better. Uh, if you start to turn this thing at a real sharp distance, there is a possibility that the corner might catch a little bit. Especially um, maybe when it's parked and you're like maneuvering it in a parking lot, getting yourself turned around. You do need a CDL license in order to buy one of these. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aluminum alloy quick release wheel. Nice heavy duty tire on it. It's a 16 by 2.125. Somebody forgot to put a valve cap on here, and that is one of my pet peeves. Uh, i got to find one. Anyway, it's got a shock on it. And what happens is that you can motivate the shock fore and aft. So that way, depending upon the load, put the shock up further, it's 25 pounds, 45 pounds, and 75 pounds. And you just unscrew this thing, push it in, and then move the shock accordingly. And then push it back in the other way. That would be for the next. You get the idea. It's it's got some extra brazons in case you were doing something modifying or who knows what you're going to do. But water bottle brazon, same thread here here. Now I'm not saying you're going to put a water bottle here, but you know you could put something else on here to bolt it on. Same thing here and here, bolts, as well as over here. No, those are just clips to be able to hold on. I thought there was no. No, you got a clip here, clip here to be able, a little nubule to be able to hook the bungee cord onto in case for whatever. There's also some nubules up top here as well. This part here spins so that when you're turning, there's nylon, there's no ball bearings in here, but it's a nylon, uh, pretty heavy duty nylon bushing is what their bearing is. It's not like a roller bearing, a, a, a nylon bushing bearing. And here comes the in, in, interesting part of this whole thing. The front mechanism to clip it on and off of your bike. This is where everybody wants to know, how does it go on and how does it go off? It's got these two, again, all stainless steel fasteners, nice. The rubber is on here so that you don't lose this little clip. They do give you another clip in your kit. That pulls off of there, and then this comes off of there. Same thing on this side. And it comes with this quick release, which is a special quick release. And it looks like that. Let me just unscrew this a little bit so that I can get that off. And this quick release goes on, replaces your existing quick release. 
It's a little bit longer, it's specially machined and whatnot, and uh, has a couple of Allen keys in there so that it can handle the weight of the trailer, which then hooks right on. So once you install this quick release, which we're gonna show you, you're ready to rock and roll, and it comes on and off relatively quick. That's how cool it is. Let's go over and install it, and then we'll show you putting it on and off of a bicycle, and you can see how long it is. All right, hooking this bad boy on, we got our skewer replaced with the special Bob skewer, and uh, it just fits right onto the little Groovesters right there. And right there. Kind of hold it in a little bit. Boom. Boom. Hooks right in. Then you got the safety clip. This is the part that holds everything together, okay? It goes through the hole, shoot match through the back side. You can see it there. See how she's coming through over here? This goes up into here. You push it down to click it on. Same thing on the other side. And then she's ready to go. All right. So we're installed. We're getting ready to go. I got my bag packed up. Uh, we have it set in the middle on the back shock system. Uh, like we talked about before, it has three different settings for that pin to go back for. The highest setting being 75 pounds, that's what the, the trailer is rated to. Uh, I think it'd probably take a little more than that, but the suspension, here's how she works, okay? So you got some weight in there and going down that bumpy trail, she's gonna, you know, absorb the shock. Bob trail. Let's put our bag in there. Oh, we got our flag in. We got everything good and ready to go. Get our zip. Bungee, our bungee cord on. And we're ready to go. We're ready to go to... This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. And this little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy went wee 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 right down the trail on his Bob trailer. Again, be careful of your eyes when you're dealing with a bungee cord. All right, guys? Nice. Set and ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The Bob Ibex Suspension Trailer. Nice. Want you to never fear. The Bike Man for you is here.